Good morning to you all, dear student. Our last class, we have learned about trade and religion. Okay, so today we will learn about new topic that is changes in Hinduism. So our aim for today is students will be able to analyze the changes in Hinduism and the reasons that led to the decline of Buddhism in India. Resources required is your notebook, your exit content book. Keywords for today is devotee. Alright, so as usual, children, let's learn the meaning of what is devotee. So this is devotee, okay, meaning of devotee. A fanatical or zealous believers in a particular religion or God that is known as devotee, okay? Phonetical means extreme, alright, an extreme believers in a particular religion or God that is known as devotee. So, in this block, okay, uh, that we have learned the various impact of trade and traders within the Indian subcontinent as well as across the country. The trade was the trade was influenced by the demand for different products. We have learned how the rulers of South Indian kingdoms tried to control the trade routes to make them safe and bring riches to their own kingdoms. We have also learned how the trade influenced religion in the spread of Buddhism beyond the Indian subcontinent. So, uh, you see, the revival of Hinduism, okay, that is in the form of bhakti as one of the important reasons for the decline of Buddhism, decline of Buddhism in India, okay, that is the revival in Hinduism that was brought in the form of bhakti is considered as one of the most important reasons that is for the decline of Buddhism in India. Why Buddhism came to an end in India and how Hinduism uh, was adopted by majority. That is the introduction of Bhakti. Okay. So let me ask you a question. What did we learn about contact with distant lands? What did we learn about contact with distant land? See, children, trade and trade, okay, trade had played a vital role in shaping the social, political, and the religious life of India. Then, along with helping, then along with helping it in earning revenue or income, okay. As the resources of India were in great demand, the trade was always in favor of India. This favorable trade made the kingdoms of the South very powerful. The four kingdoms were constantly having conflicts among themselves to capture each other regions and ports. Traders who were constantly traveling to other regions were coming in contact with monks and spreading Buddhism to the region of the East. So for that, you can see even the changes in Hinduism, okay? Uh, in your practice question, not practice question, in your content book, okay? In your content book, you'll find the topic, in the topic, changes in Hinduism, alright? So you can even look from your textbook, okay? There is changes in Hinduism. For that, you'll find in your content book, page number 78. So, Buddhism and Jainism were popular among the people of India for their simple practice of worship and equality. Because we have learned that Buddhism that was spread in Prakrit language, okay, which was a uh, common language for the common people. So, similarly, even the Jainism was the same. So, that is how... Uh, people they at first they became they favor 
they favor Buddhism and Jainism, okay, because it's spread about the message of love, all right, and also about principle of ahimsa or non-violence, okay. So, not all of them were comfortable leaving their homes and moving from places to places, that is to beg, because which the followers Buddhism and Jainism were required to do. So, many people also, they like the idea and some, they don't like the idea of Buddhism because in order to be a monk, alright, see, what ha what both in Jainism and Buddhism, what have to be done is they have to leave their family, they have to stay away from their family, right? So, many people, they don't like the idea, okay? So, accordingly, here is the changes in Hinduism, okay? So, there are five points mentioned here, a uh, four point. In what ways did Hinduism change after the emergence of Buddhism? Who were the major gods and their role in early Hinduism? What were the basic tenets or beliefs of the early Hindus? Why did Hinduism replace Buddhism as the popular faith in India? So that is the question. Okay. So in Hindu Hindu mythology or Hindu religious, we have come across Varna, division of Varna. That is based on Brahmana, Kastriya, Vaishya, Shudra. Okay. So as you can see also from the picture that the Brahmana they are the priests. Alright. Kastriya they, they are the warrior. Vashyas, they are the traders, as we have learned. And then Sudra, they are the farmer. Okay. So that is how society is divided based on Varna during the Aryan period. Now, question here is, what do you think happened to Hinduism when Buddhism was becoming strong? What were common people attracted to Buddhism? All right. Why, what do you think happened to Hinduism when Buddhism was becoming strong? Why were common people attracted to Buddhism? Alright, so children, Hinduism continued to coexist with while Buddhism was gaining popularity. Okay, However, because of the rigid rituals and complex ceremonies, and the Brahmin and Kastriyas being the favored groups, the common people were attracted towards Buddhism, which was very simple, very easy to follow as well. Okay, Anyone could practice Buddhism as it did not involve any complex rituals like the Hinduism. Okay, Because of that, many, many people they were attracted to Buddhism, especially the common people, they were attracted to Buddhism. Okay. So, question here is, what changes came along which revived Hinduism? Alright, what were some of the changes that came and then it revived Hinduism? And was, what was this new system called? And what were its main principles? Alright. So, see, by the 6th century AD, the rulers who came to power were mostly followers of Hinduism, okay, although they were tolerant towards other religions. The Brahmin at this time were questioning the rigid rules of Hinduism, means the complex rules of Hinduism, okay, and started adopting a simpler system of worship with an emphasis on good deeds. Even common people could adopt this new system of worship and this drew them towards Hinduism, okay? And see, like the new system of worship came to be known as Bhakti, okay? So the new system was known as Bhakti. So in the Bhakti movement, the devotee, as we have learned the meaning of devotee, okay? The devotee who was also known as Bhakta could choose his or her deity and worship the deity in any form with a pure heart. It was also believed that the deity could appear in any form to blaze the Bhakta. Okay, 
so they could appear in any form okay so in this way bhakti was for everyone as each individual could choose how to worship his or her own god similarly see after the introduction of bhakti system in hinduism there comes many god okay like god of sun god of moon so everyone they were free to worship in whatever way they like okay because of that there arose many god okay so they worship different things okay because according to them they believe that god uh, speak to people or god comes in different way all right so as long as they worship with pure heart which means they can worship their deity in their own way all right and in different form so question here question number three here is what was the impact of bhakti and what was the impact of these changes on buddhism what was the impact of bhakti what was the impact of these changes on buddhism so bhakti attracted the common people all right bhakti it attracted the common people it led to the growing popularity of hinduism as adopting bhakti meant that one could adopt a system of worship which was simple and based on good deeds this appeal to the people more than buddhism okay so people favor hinduism now more than buddhism as in buddhism monk had to leave their homes and family and give up worldly pleasures by following bhakti people could still have a family life all right the principle of deities appearing in many form also resulted in artists making many new sculptures and statues of new forms of deities which began to be placed in structures called temples the rise of bhakti led to new draft architecture and poetry all right so uh all right because of all those things buddhism was uh buddhism uh, people people were slowly adopting hinduism instead of buddhism okay so question here is what was the impact of these changes on buddhism another part okay due to these changes in hinduism okay hinduism they gained popularity and buddhism they started declining all right many people were not comfortable leaving their homes to become bhikkhus all right and others and others especially farmers and soldiers could not follow ahimsa or non-violence why because according to the buddhist uh, buddhism one should not kill any living being so farmers they could not follow that one the reason why is because they have to kill an insect okay which destroy their crops especially soldier in order to protect the people they have to kill the enemy all right so farmers and soldiers they could not follow ahimsa or non-violence which was the main principle of buddhism this led to the decline of buddhism that is in favor of hinduism okay so buddhism was declining in india and hinduism started coming up okay and then that is how there was the changes with the changes in hinduism it led to rise in hinduism and decline of buddhism in india so that's it things to do today you have to complete your practice question number 10 okay practice question number 10 write it down in your notebook thank you take care stay 